Senator Cynthia Villar exits the fight for the Senate presidency and instead chooses to back Senate Majority Leader Juan Miguel Migs Zubiri. Villar tells reporters on Wednesday morning, June 1, she no longer wishes to pursue the Senate presidency and has expressed this to Zubiri. Wala nang espires. Hindi na. Ayoko na. I want a simple life. Villar had been eyeing to become leader of the Senate ever since she topped the 2019 senatorial polls. Senate insiders say Zubiri already has 12 senators backing him. And if most of the eight members of the bloc backing Villar support Zubiri, the majority leader will have enough numbers to win the seat. In a press briefing, Zubiri thanks Villar for her support and says a united Senate is a productive Senate. Incoming Press Secretary Trixie Cruz Angeles says the Presidential Communications Operations Office, under her leadership, will prioritize the accreditation of vloggers to allow them to attend Malacanang briefings. We are, however, um, pushing for the accreditation of e loggers to be uh, invited to some of the briefings, uh, especially those conducted by the President event. So yun pa lang po, yun ang isa sa aming na-formulate na, na priority for the incoming PCOO. Angeles is herself a vlogger who supported outgoing President Rodrigo Duterte and now President-elect Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Duterte's PCOO under Martin Andanar also accredited vloggers or social media personalities to attend presidential events. When asked if the PCOO under her watch will allow all journalists and media groups to physically cover presidential events, Angeles has this to say. I think we'll have to take a look at the existing policy first and determine, make a decision later on uh, as to how appropriate they are for the current times. Duterte banned Rappler reporters from covering his official events since 2018. Need more context, clarity, and perspective? Get the full picture with Rappler Plus. With exclusive content and events, you'll get an opportunity to discuss issues with reporters, experts, and featured guests while helping Rappler continue its fearless journalism. Join now. Commission on Appointments bypasses five Duterte appointees Wednesday, June 1, eventually allowing President-elect Ferdinand Marcos Jr. to pick his own appointees. Among the months-old appointees of outgoing President Rodrigo Duterte that are bypassed are Comelec Chairman Saidamin Pangarungan, Comelec Commissioner George Garcia, Comelec Commissioner Amy Torrefranca Neri, CSC Chairman Carlo Nograles, and COA Chairperson Rizanila Hostol. Wednesday is the last day the CA can hold a plenary session before the 18th Congress adjourns sine die on June 3. The CA, however, fails to reach a quorum during the committee hearing. The decision to bypass the Duterte appointees comes after Senate Majority Leader Juan Miguel Zubiri disclosed that incoming Marcos cabinet officials, during a discussion with him, suggested the possibility of letting the president-elect make his own picks for the constitutional body positions. The CA delayed the scheduled committee proceedings involving Duterte's five ad interim appointees twice. South Korean boy band BTS meets with President Joe Biden at the White House on Tuesday, May 31, to discuss hate crimes targeting Asians. The K-pop stars also make brief statements to reporters before the meeting and call for a halt to crimes targeting Asian Americans. The meeting comes as Asian American and Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander Month in May drew to a close. Attacks against people of Asian descent have escalated as some politicians and pundits have encouraged Americans to blame China for COVID-19. While the meeting was close to press, the White House says one goal was to discuss the importance of diversity and inclusion and BTS's role in achieving this. We want to say thank you um, sincerely for um, your decision, um, like such as signing the COVID-19 Hate Crimes Act into law. So. We just want to be a little help and we truly appreciate the White House and the government's trying to find solutions. People care a lot about what you say and what you're doing is good for all people. It's not just your great talent, 
It's the message you communicate. It matters. The musicians who debuted in 2013 are known for using their lyrics in social campaigns aimed at empowering the youth. In June 2020, BTS fans raised around $1 million in one day to match the band's donation to Black Lives Matter. Moira De La Torre and Jason Marvin Hernandez are splitting up after three years of marriage. The ex-couple makes the announcement in a joint statement posted on Jason's Instagram on Tuesday, May 31. In the caption of the post, Jason admits he had been unfaithful to Moira during their marriage. He also apologizes to everyone he has hurt and specially mentions Moira. The pair were rumored to have broken up in April when followers noticed Moira deleted all posts of Jason from her Instagram account. But Moira seemed to shut down the rumors by tagging Jason in another Instagram post. Jason and Moira wed in January 2019. Moira, the most streamed solo Filipino artist, is one of the judges of Idol Philippines, which airs on ABS-CBN. Jason is a singer-songwriter who accompanies Moira in different performances and songs. Thank you.